The Kent Precision Window Cutter This video provides an example of the Kent Precision Window Cutter in operation. It is not a substitute for official training. The Kent Cutter is a modular system consisting of three main components. Longitudinal module allows cuts to be made along a pipe. The standard unit has a cut length of 250 mm. However, longer cut lengths are available. The standard longitudinal module will fit pipes from 4-inch nominal bore upward and adapters are available to fit pipes from 2-inch nominal bore. Circumferential module allows cuts to be made partially or completely around the pipe. The standard circumferential module is suitable for pipe diameters from 3-inch nominal bore upwards. Cutter module consists of the air motor, non-sparking blade and depth control. The maximum depth of cut is 20 mm. Other items supplied are the digital depth indicator or DDI and the air treatment system. The Kent cutter is able to cut a 250mm long window in most pipe materials in around 30 minutes. Before using this product, ensure that the operator is wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, such as overalls, gloves, eye and ear protectors. Setting up and operating the Kent Precision Window Cutter requires only a 140mm clearance around the pipe. First, the desired window is marked out on the host pipe. The wall thickness can be measured using an ultrasonic meter. Either cut can be made first depending on the circumstances. In this instance, the longitudinal cuts are being made first. Attach the longitudinal module to the host pipe using the two securing chains. Thread each chain under the bar and leaving sufficient slack for the unit to rotate around the pipe, attach to the securing hook. Position the longitudinal module with the red marker approximately 20 mm outside of the circumferential window marking to ensure that the longitudinal cut will meet with the circumferential cut. Tighten the securing chain locking bolts using the supplied wrench. Attach the air line and clear out any dust or dirt from the system using the dead man air control. Take care to protect the eyes and face. Attach the cutter module to the longitudinal module. For safety reasons, the cutter blade cannot spin while exposed as the motor gets its air supply via one of the other modules. The cutter module is connected to the longitudinal module by two thumb bolts. Use the air drive ratchet to check the correct direction of movement of the cutter, reversing the direction if necessary. The depth of cut is controlled using the plunge handle. Start the motor and rotate the plunge handle until the cutter blade is heard to just make contact with the pipe and no further. Insert the DDI into the cutter housing and set it to read zero. Then remove it. In this demonstration, the 8mm pipe wall will be cut in two passes, even though the Kent cutter is fully capable of making the full 8mm cut in a single pass. This is a cautionary approach to ensure that the inserted pipe is not damaged by an initial cut that is too deep. For the first pass, the plunge handle is set to cut to a depth of 6 mm. One revolution of the plunge handle equals 1 mm of cut. A second pass of slightly less than 2 mm will be required to almost penetrate the 8 mm wall thickness. Using the supplied 10 mm ring spanner, tighten the cutter locking bolt. Operate the dead man's handle to start the cutter. Drive the cut forward using the supplied air ratchet. Continue the cut. When the pass is complete, keeping the blade rotating, reverse the air ratchet to return the cutter to the start position for the second pass.
release the cutter locking bolt. We now increase the cutter depth by a further 1.8 millimeters to take the overall cut depth to 7.8 millimeters, which is slightly less than the 8 millimeter wall thickness in this example. Insert the DDI into the housing to confirm the depth of cut. Tighten the cutter locking bolt. Advance the cutter approximately 75 millimeters and then stop to check that the pipe has not penetrated the pipe wall and made contact with the internal PE lining. This precaution is to avoid damaging the inserted pipe on the second pass. It may be necessary to repeat the process in small increments until the pipe wall is cleanly penetrated. Continue the cut until complete. Reposition the cutter unit to the other side of the pipe window and repeat the process until the second longitudinal cut is made. In congested excavations, it may be necessary to turn the unit round to gain the necessary clearance. Position the circumferential module on the pipe. The cutter sits on four rollers and is driven by either of the two sprockets. The rollers must sit outside of the circumferential window marker on the uncut section of the pipe. Position the middle of the drive chain over the idler. Wrap the two ends of the drive chain around the pipe and connect them together using the hooks. Ensure the hooks face out from the pipe wall. Take care that the split link is positioned so that the cutter can make a circumferential cut without being obstructed by it. Using the 10mm socket wrench, tension the chain just enough to hold it in position while allowing it to rotate freely. Rotate the cutter forwards to the end of the intended cut and back to the start of the cut to ensure free movement throughout the cut. It will be necessary to move the ratchet lever when reversing direction. Finally, tension the chain and rotate once again to ensure free movement. Connect the air supply and apply short bursts to eject any dust or dirt from the air port. Take care to protect the eyes and face. Attach the cutter module and secure it with the two securing thumb bolts. Tighten the thumb bolts with the hexagonal key. Noting the direction cut arrow, release the ratchet and rotate the cutter unit to position the blade at the start of the cut. Start the motor and rotate the plunge handle until the cutter blade is heard to just make contact with the pipe and no further. Insert the DDI into the cutter housing and set it to read zero. Then remove it. Set the required depth of cut using the plunge handle. Use the DDI to confirm this. As with the longitudinal cuts, multiple cuts can be made to ensure that the inserted PE pipe is not damaged. Using the 10mm spanner, tighten the cutter locking bolt. Using the ring spanner, drive the cutter forward to make the circumferential cut. Check to see that the motor passes the end of the cut line to ensure the circumferential and longitudinal cuts overlap. Probe to inspect that the cut is clean through the pipe wall and not cutting the internal PE lining. Release the cutter locking bolt. Turn the plunge handle anti-clockwise to fully retract the cutter blade. Release the ratchet and return the motor to the start position. Disconnect the air line to remove the supply from the motor, replacing the dirt cap. Release the thumb bolts to release the cutter module. Release the chain tension and remove the unit from the pipe. Reposition the unit ready to make the second circumferential cut. Repeat the process until the second circumferential cut is made.
The window is free to be removed and the connection made without any damage to the inserted pipe. For more information, call us today on 01642 769 789 or email us at info at pipe-equipment.co.uk or visit our website www.pipe-equipment.co.uk